Hey, y'all. We're sorry. Where y'all been at? <laughs> y'all are shady. <laughs> Man, y'all shady. We're so sorry. But uh, we're You should to... be. We are about to record. Um, the twins are asleep. We don't have much time, so we're going to jump into this. Yeah. All right. What is that? You, you starting us out? No, nah, go ahead. I'm rusty. All right. He don't even know the topic. I never know the topic. What's I, new? I tell you, but you don't ever listen. What's the topic? The, I didn't tell you this one. There's no, no point you, in me telling you, you if you're not going to listen. Point. No. Push. Go. Hurry up. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another. Is this going to cause an argument? We know it's been a mighty long time, but we are so happy to be back. Absolutely. I'm one of your hosts, Angel Lakita Moore Tanksley of That Chick Angel TV. And go on ahead, tell them who you are, baby. I'm Marcus Tanksley of That Chick Angel TV and Tank Talks. Soon to branch off into his own brand. Soon as he starts recording again. <laughs> yeah. So don't be <laughs> holding y'all's breath. He'll be right here with me on That Chick Angel TV, <laughs> as well as Is This Gonna Cause an Argument podcast when we do that regularly. So, hey, I know I've asked y'all to follow us on our different social media platforms and follow us on this podcast, and then we didn't put up nothing. But we get in our life together we and actually, to, yeah. actually this podcast is going to address some of that some not all some of the stuff we've been going through so that you all can kind of get updated on what's been going on and um hopefully it'll be a good just a meaty podcast where you're getting a lot of information and a lot of fun but as a quick reminder you can follow this podcast on itunes as well as soundcloud and you can follow Marcus on Periscope. It's been a while since he's Periscope. It's been even longer since I've Periscope. Yeah, at uh, Big Marcus 2782. Y'all know I keep my Snapchat flowing, and that's uh, at Angel the Actress. I haven't Periscoped in a while, but I probably will today, actually. And, um, well, this will be previous for you guys who are watching this podcast on Wednesday. But um, my Periscope is That Chick Angel. Facebook is That Chick Angel TV. YouTube, That Chick Angel TV. And um, Twitter, Angel the Actress, and Instagram, Angel the Actress. So, y'all know where y'all can catch us. So, just check on check on us. Talk to us there. And if you have any comments or questions, use the hashtag ITGTCAA on Twitter or in the video of this actual video. In the video. In the comment section, comment section of, of this that. video. <laughs> so, sorry. So, um, anyways, first let me just ask you. Marcus, how you been? Like, I, I know I live with you, but sometimes... I just don't get to ask you that question. How have you been? I don't think you care sometimes. Nah, uh, <laughs> I've been, um, you know, the n normal question there, or the second nature question that people uh, answer to that. People say, oh, I've been good. I ain't been good, y'all. It's been a roller coaster and in my life. I think people who have, have been like, you know, loyal followers, like real family to us on yeah. this channel. I think they've noticed. I, do, I haven't been putting him on camera very much because I, I ain't wanted to be on camera. He didn't want to be on camera, and I also don't like to show you all just like not. Yeah, I ain't been mm -hmm. myself. Yeah, but um, I, I'm still not ready to fully talk about everything. He will be um, very soon. Though. I will be soon. Yeah. Um, but I just I like to see things follow all the way through before he talks. Before about I it. talk about it, like Angel, she'll talk about the entire process. Me, I don't like talking that much. And I don't like having to fill people in on every single little step. Like, we got to fill people in on steps because you want to talk about other things going on or right. whatever. I'm like, just shut up and let it happen. That's and it. then we can, hey, so this is what's been going on. So that's what I'm going to give y'all. And that's going to be a that's going to be a podcast and it'll probably be a Tank Talks. It's going to be Tank Talks Tank. Well, you know what? Let that's me what tell you. Be. Let me tell you the reason why I don't always feel the need to just not say anything until the end of the pro uh, process is because sometimes people have gone through what we are or what you are or what I am going through and can actually give me good advice. But if I don't open my mouth, they don't know that or I don't know that they might have a wealth of knowledge that I might need for that occasion. And I'm not saying just share information, just share information. I know sometimes I do do that. Yeah, I was going to say that's what it feels like you're doing, just sharing sometimes. Sharing. But like even on the, uh, the thing we're going to talk about today is the process of buying and selling a home. Not, we're not, well, we, we probably won't be too much into the particulars. There'll be a little bit of what we're doing, but more so just a starting conversation of what do you guys if you all were buying a house or in the situation what things are y'all looking for what things are we trying to look for but in the instance of me sharing with one friend like I said I knew 
I already knew that she had been in the exact situation that we had been in. And so I needed a piece of advice from her. And I didn't know anyone else who had been in that exact situation. While I know he would have preferred me to keep my mouth shut and not involve that person at all. It was a situation. Nothing that, against that person. I'm just very proud. He's private. It was like I didn't know who. Because I know you're going to ask. <laughs> <laughs> I know um, he wasn't going to be able to give. He was going to, yes, give me his own personal advice but i needed someone who had been through the process and had been successful at that process give me just a little bit of advice on what i should do so you know that's me i don't i because we both are young the youngest in our siblings i look to precedents like what have other people done one to avoid certain mistakes and two, also to see if there's a path that actually seemed easier, let me take that path. Marcus is, I'm going to pioneer my way through it, even if pioneers. it's been done. You know, pioneers. Yeah. Here, boy, pioneers. It's What's that like, in there song that's something like? You've already said at the beginning, boy, here, pioneers. Yeah, okay, I was going to say, <laughs> I know, I know something, though. Somebody done said it before. So... As those of you all know, for my... someone else prevailed, then I shall as well. That's how I look at it. I, I believe it too. I believe yeah. I... Believe but no, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, as you all know from my son, so cutely, accidentally letting you all know <laughs> in a podcast, not a podcast, in a vlog, we are looking to possibly move. It's not a definite thing, but we are looking to put our house on the market. Upgrade. As well as looking to buy, yeah, an upgraded house. Would he give out the addresses and everything? No. Uh, he was just like, hey, One time he gave out the address. We had to edit everything They out. know I put my son <laughs> trying to give y'all our address. <laughs> Come over here and see me at. Ba, 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 ba. So. Um, at this time, we will be out of town on <laughs> <me>. <laughs> He was like, I, I'm sure my mommy has shown y'all the boxes because we're moving. He was like, I need to go, guys. I'll talk to you like that's what he did. So anyways, we're looking at houses. And what we've noticed, obviously, is that unless you have a wealth of money, especially in the state of California, in Los Angeles, to build the exact thing you want, which you're still not going to be able to get exactly what you want because there's only a few places where you can really build something because you don't get a whole, whole lot of land out here. Yeah. You find that you might hold on. You don't get a lot of land where you want to be. Yeah, because you can get a lot of land. It just ain't where you, you want to live. Right, right, exactly. <laughs> um, you find that you have to compromise on stuff. It's just the obviously the more money you have, sometimes the less compromise you have if the money is putting you in the right um, area. If that makes sense. So let's say you got. I'm making up fictitious numbers because these won't really relate to California. Say Too you crazy have, math. Yeah. Say you have two hundred grand, so you have two hundred K, but you only need a one hundred K house, you probably can get exactly what you want. But if you have two hundred K and you want to get a one hundred and eighty thousand dollar house, you're gonna start compromising. Yeah. Th this just is what it is. So We've been trying to. And them out. numbers don't at all even touch the boundaries of California, <laughs> so. no, especially not Los Angeles. Yeah, you, like you ain't even it's getting horrible. a condo. It's, it's for, ridiculous for one k. Say that right now for one hundred k. Excuse me. So I know people pay more for parking. Yeah, and that's not a joke. Yeah, yep. It's crazy <laughs> it's out ridiculous. here. Y'all know I watch a couple of YouTubers, and uh, two of the YouTubers I watched recently um, both just got like immaculate homes. So, uh, Gay Babe, and then I watch a channel sometimes called The Levine Life. Gay Babe TV, their house is, he, I don't even know how many square feet it is. It's probably like yeah. 3,200 square feet, something, something really nice, maybe more than that. And then, um, but they're in Indiana, so that's. You, you can't even compare. It's apples to cow. It's not even apples to oranges. Ain't the same category. Yeah. Ain't the same species. And then the Levine Life, who uh, Marcus, they, he doesn't know who they are. Watch them. They moved to Arizona and bought a really nice size house as well. It's a lot of square feet with a basement and a, a like a half of a basketball court in the back of their house. So all this freaking land and we don't want to, the shaytards live in like a compound so they have houses yeah they got villas yeah they, they, have, they got a tuesday house <laughs> right that they go to on tuesday only yeah. <laughs> so we are and then like the the 
the most basic way we want to upgrade like and i mean basic the most basic way we want to upgrade is that we want another bathroom and a little more square footage more square footage both in definitely in the rooms yeah throughout but yeah we yeah. would love to have it evenly spread throughout as um so th that's the basic way that we want to upgrade. i still can't i go back home and visit my friends and they buy these houses or get these houses built I was telling her, I was walking through one of my boys' master bedroom for like 30 to 45 seconds. It was just a steady walk and just going in from the big massive room to the bathroom. And then I was like, what's this massive storage room back? Oh, that's y'all's closet. That ain't no bedroom behind y'all's bathroom. All of their houses are like it. Like you walk in, there's massive chandeliers hanging from the floor. Yeah, I'm like, okay. And, and they always say the same thing. Y'all can have this too. Y'all was living. <laughs> because what's crazy is that we definitely pay more than all of our friends in their it's gigantic ridiculous. houses. We pay more in this house that we live in right now. Yeah. And their square footage is at least double the amount of square footage that we have. That's on the lower scale, at least. Yeah. Double. I'm sure we have we. I'm sure we have people My who have triple. triple yeah. yeah, triple. We got a few triple people. That most is, are triple. I ain't gonna say a few. We got a, most are triple. People. And we pay more than all of them. Granted, like we, we're paying say, for sun. We're yeah, paying we, we for pay sun for all weather. year long. We don't get winter. Yeah, so they get That's, snow. Uh, they get yeah. snow days. We with, get like ninety percent of our days is clear skies. It actually gets boring sometimes. <laughs> You're like, where's a rain cloud? Right. I do we get actually, excited now when it rains. I can't miss rain so bad. I get so excited when it rains now. I don't know why. I never thought I'd be that person. I love, I've always loved rain. I have not. Now, I would play in the rain, but it wasn't because I was like, yes, it's rain. Y'all like, have no choice. Day. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. That was just like, we're just going to go yeah, out here and play in yeah. the rain. I mean, it would be fun. Your mom said, get out. Me and Nita did that all the way through high school. This is when, before we had, um, we were in our hair natural. So, we would be out there in shower caps trying to maintain our edges and our dudes. But um, anyways, yeah, there's, like there are more specific things that we want that has been very hard for us to One, to we get. compromised recently because we were staring away from swimming pools. Like, a lot of houses we went to is like, we got a swimming pool. I'm like, no, we don't want to do no swimming pool. We don't want to deal with the building. Every house we saw that we kind of liked or it was feeling like had a pool. I'm like, you know pool. what? This pool thing ain't looking so bad, man. <laughs> I mean, it, the pool looks good. Like, like, don't get us wrong. We realize, like, that's kind of, that's a luxury. Like, especially in Kentucky. Like, I remember we, there was one house we lived in that had a pool. And we felt like ballers because we had a pool. And you only got to use it during summertime, but it was still dope as hell. Yeah, We're out here, here. You can swim on Christmas. All year long, yeah. you can swim. It's that bill that comes with the pool that we have never been attracted to. Yeah, but then I recently found out, found some uh, pricing. I guess a little more accurate pricing on the whole solar panel thing. Which is only doable because the government is giving back money for that. But that's a whole different subject. Um, yeah, and it ain't that bad. I'm like, okay. I so can do a pool and solar panel. And then Absolutely. also, the safety matter. We still, got, we still have young kids, none of which know how to swim. So we would have to invest you know, money, obviously, in the safety. The safety gate around the pool as well as... That's all small stuff. It is, but as well as teaching our kids how to swim as well. That's like, two weekends. I got that. No, you don't. Like, do. You're not the one teaching my kids how to swim. Why not? You are not a professional. <clears throat> and you um, Look, you don't like for me to bring it up, but you almost drowned me. You're not teaching them how to swim. That was in the ocean. I don't All care. Right, whatever. What type of body of water is All that? All right. So you would have to teach them. We would, we Everybody would, I know that got professional... Uh, that's what you say. Professional people cannot not, swim to save their life. That's not everybody I know. Whatever. I know people who learned how to swim by a professional and All still right. know how to swim. I don't talk more people to swim than you have swam. That makes no yeah, I sense. Yeah, <laughs> it does make perfect sense. Look, go ahead. You ain't gonna be right, go teaching ahead. my sons how to swim. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Go ahead. whatever. You teach Supreme. Don't yeah, you can swim. Dallas can swim. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the pool is one thing that we have been definitely teetering around and being like, it now kind of seems like a plus. Like, yeah, we'll take a pool. But the thing is, is that typically out here, if you have a pool, then you have no grass in your backyard. It's hard to get a pool and some grass. Now, granted, my Yorkie already takes craps on the concrete, but we're not trying to just like yeah, that's make that. Yeah, do some training. That piece of crap. <laughs> she is a piece of poop. She really is. But we are trying. We got to still even with Supreme. Like he doesn't like to to poop on the concrete. He doesn't do that. But darn where him. He don't want to poop on the damn concrete. Course. But where would he poop if we didn't have grass in the backyard? Every house we've looked at, except for like two that had pools, had a grassy area. 
And that's perfect for him to have a small grassy area. You haven't looked at as many houses as I've looked right. at. Is You're right. Well, the ones that I've looked at. Yes. I have looked at more but than I haven't looked at anything. I have not looked at anything that we were thinking about getting though. No. Um, a lot of places got crossed off for me because there was no grass in the dang old backyard. Mm -hmm. I look at places during the day while he's at work. And I go drive by these places, and if they're not occupied, I go into their backyard illegally. And um, <laughs> a couple of places that have pools didn't have grass, and I was like, I don't know what we're going to do with these dogs, and it's just going to be too much to try to figure out. Um, like that one that I liked, but the bedrooms were too small. So that's the other thing we've been running into. We are finding places that have a lot of square feet, but then these bedrooms are like, what What are you all thinking? Like closets. It's crazy. And, and I try to, I've been trying to figure out, because we've both been raised in Kentucky, we're used to houses having a master suite. You know what the master bedroom is. There's no questioning it. It's bigger than all the rooms, and it typically has its own breast, uh, bathroom and a larger closet. But a lot of these places... I saw these little conversions, these ignorant conversions that people are doing. And they throw up walls in random places and make it appealing. It's a whole... I've never seen anything like it except in California. So when people go remodel and they throw it walls in random places, they're like, oh, they think about everything else. And then they go back and probably realize, oh, we ain't got enough room for a master bed. And just put up some walls and make it what it is. There was one house that they put way too much money in, really. I know, I forgot to meet my phone. They put way too much money in. And the end result was they had awkward shaped bathrooms, both of them. Yeah. I mean, it was one bathroom where I could walk through. It was one section and my shoulders would rub the dang wall at the same time. Yeah. Like the it was that narrow of an opening. Yeah. And the other, actually on both sides, in the master bathroom and the main bathroom. It's like, really? Y'all put all this money in? And the closets were too big. So that space where my shoes were rubbing, they could have made their closet a lot more shallow and made their bathroom look normal. But you know what? I don't even know if it's just the conversions. Because yet, while you can kind of tell that our bedroom is the master bedroom, it really is not a master bedroom. This ain't a, this ain't a huge house either. Okay, neither is um, our friends that live by the 101. I don't want to put the, <laughs> who we're yeah. talking about. Their master bedroom isn't really a strong master. Like both of the both of the original rooms are like the exact same size. I feel like that's like okay, but they're the exact same size. But they're not really small rooms well i'm saying like I've, I've, I've seen houses with you know one-story houses with have you know the bedrooms around the same size I, but don't you can, point, i'm saying the ones you put all this money into no i'm saying my point was a lot of these houses don't have master suites okay that's another california thing that's, that's that was what no, i was okay. saying that that was my whole point is that a lot of these homes and i was like and i'm i'm not sure if that's just the california thing where i want a master suite if i'm going to pay all this money because it's a lot of freaking money that they are asking for you to pay i want to feel like yes i'm the queen of this castle i paid all this money i want my room to be bigger and better than all the other rooms in this house and i want the other rooms to be nice too it's very strange to me that that's not something out here especially because this is a place where when you do get to a certain level money wise that ridiculous money the houses are extremely extravagant right yeah Okay, join the conversation. I'm Lisa. listening. <laughs> this is a podcast. You but a lot of people, back. like a lot of people, will go up. Um, they will move out away from LA or whatever, which that would be an option for us if we didn't have a, son, a school that our son really likes, and we want to put our other two in that school too. Right. Yeah. Um, it's a really good school, really di extremely diverse, really good curriculum. So, because yeah. before I was like, no, absolutely, let's move out, let's move to Gore Hill, Santa Clarita, wherever I can get my magnificent. Acreage that I'm looking for, right? Square footage I'm looking for, and everything. And now we just like. But what's great about uh, what's great about it is that because we have a school that we love, and we don't have to really worry about where we're at, we it does open us to more places. Because if we were at a school that he was district to, then we would have to switch him up anyway. So we're in a good position, but we did knock ourselves out of some places because we were like, we're not about to be. Switching up schools. We we like the school that he's at and everything. But um, yeah, the master suite thing has been a, a big thing for us. Yeah. 
Another thing that's really common in California and definitely not something you deal with in Kentucky is not having front access to your house via a car, like being able to pull into a driveway yeah, to your house. That's a that's a huge downfall for me. It's a pet peeve. I don't understand. There's a couple of houses we looked at where the house we were looking at was the only one on the strip that didn't have a front driveway. They do these things in California where you have a, it's an alley behind your house, like running behind a row of houses and that's how you access to your garage your garage is open to the alley so that's a possible break-in your backyard is open to the alley because a lot of people have rv access so you can pull into your backyard i'm just like i don't get that there's nothing i ever desire i want to be able to pull up into my house into my garage in the front of my house mm -hmm. and pull out that way i, should, I don't want to have to go to another street to pull off my you know house that's yeah. Yeah, because out here you'll find it, that in detached garages. That's a big thing where the garage is not attached to the house. You don't have access to it. Even if it is attached, sometimes you can't have access to it without coming outside. And with the alley thing, like he said, it's like you are way more susceptible to getting broken into. And it's just like, dang, like, is that something? You find a house that has the bigger rooms. You end up with a master suite, which seems like mission impossible. But then you're just like, so anybody can just be walking down this alley. Like, any person can just decide, I want this alley to be my home. And we then have, you know, a homeless neighbor that they camped out in the alley. It's like so many things that you're more susceptible to when you live in an alley. It's like, is that something that we want to compromise Yeah, on? even in nicer neighborhoods. We've seen some really nice neighborhoods with these alleys. I'm like, it's still an alley. It looks like an alley in any other neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. People who dump trash in those things that don't even live in the area. So, yeah, I'm not a fan of that. Something that we're really picky about just because we do love entertaining, even though we, we haven't done it as much this year, is um, not having parking restrictions. So in Los Angeles, oh, parking can be, sorry, I hit the table. Parking can be such a B-I-T-C-H. And, um, they do what they call street cleaning. And I'm sure they do that in many cities. But with street cleaning, there are certain days of the week during yeah, certain times. Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday from noon or from sometime until noon or from noon until 8. There's no parking on one certain side right. of the street. Right. It's like for two to four hours. So that means that, yeah, you can't park on that side of the street. If somebody um, is coming to visit you, you have to tell them park on a different side of the street. And that's something that we have avoided for the past eight years because we don't have street cleaning on our street because our street stays clean. Like we have a very clean neighborhood yeah. where we like live. one time once or twice a year they'll post signs that say we're street clean it's like a big deal because people go out of their way to make sure they're in the way right of the street cleaners so it's almost like it, this kind of telling it's like okay so if you got to do street cleaning is it because this neighborhood is filthy you know, and that high don't, traffic you know high, yeah, high, high traffic, traffic where people are just throwing trash on the ground and stuff like that and so it's something that I just don't want to deal with. Yeah, and I too, I, I've always liked having parking access when people come to see me. Because if I go over somebody's house or somebody's apartment and they don't have very good parking, a lot of times I just won't go. Yeah, I'm like, either save me a spot or I'll holler at you next time. It, it sounds like really small, shallow stuff. But I'm like, like it's, it's, bad, it's bad out here when it comes to parking. Like, I'm not parking three blocks away from you just to walk and come see you. That's... It's no. so, so um, uh, my girlfriend, Denora, who y'all seen on this channel, while her and her then boyfriend lived over what we call over the hill. That means down in proper side of Los Angeles. So where Hollywood is, where, you know, Santa Monica, all the places that people are very familiar with. Down there, almost all the streets, there is parking restriction. You're not going to find Either a street without, or, yeah. yeah, like the nicer neighborhoods. They make sure that you can't park on their street unless you have a permit because they're like, we don't want randoms parking here. So their parking situation was so bad. One, in a lot of those apartment, com not complex, but the apartment buildings, you only get one parking spot. So they half the time didn't have but, a parking yeah. place. Like well, a lot of times they'll sell it as two parking spots. One is in the back of the unit. The one is if you have a permit, you can park out on the street without getting towed or it, a ticket and it, you don't want no LA ticket. 
And there, they didn't have permitted parking on the street. So literally, no. sometimes Denora will be parked three blocks away to get home. Like, what type of life is that? I can't. Yeah. No, nope, not college a place bougie, that I. College, whatever, but yeah, and we I from know. we from, I'm from the country. I'm like, no, you park in your front yard if you want to. It's like you got parking. If I'm paying, like I said, the money, the amount yeah. of money they want you to pay to live here. Oh yes, I get to park wherever I want to on this street. Yeah, we knew somebody that lived up on up in the hills. We was parking, uh, trying to park over there one night. Angel swiped. I slide swiped the car and kept it moving. Kept it going. Cause it, it, I mean, <laughs> it, we was in a little Corolla, a little Corolla mm -hmm. at the time. And she didn't even have room to drive up through where it was parked. People parked on both sides of the streets and her little car is having to squeeze through. I'm like, this is ridiculous. And what made it so bad is that there was a car coming back towards me. And so we couldn't both fit up the street. So I had to back down the street. That's how I ended up side swiping a car. Cause it was backing down a hill. And on one side, it was like the, um, uh, the cliff but not in the way that I would fall down it is the way I've been driving up it and then the other side was the cars and so I was slid all down that car yeah. I was like what is that sound so yeah I don't know people hope our friends see us as thoughtful because we like no nope, not enough mm -hmm. parking too many cars on the street to this no right. this won't work right we really I mean we really just don't want people to have to go through the hassle of having to find parking. Yeah, we don't want to. We may have an extra car or two sometimes at the, you know, like yeah. at one point in time I had a car and a truck. Trucks stayed parked on the street, cars were parked in the driveway. Yeah, yeah. So that's another thing that has nothing to, anything to do with the actual inside of the house, but yeah, it's very hard for us for. Yeah. to compromise with. I also, I really want a more open kitchen. Like, there was one house that I was willing to compromise. That kitchen was narrow as heck, the first one, and um, that we didn't even get to put a bid on. Somebody had already <laughs> got the house. We went to the open house, and mm -hmm. we were like, yeah. Oh, yeah. I was willing to compromise with that. Because um, they had so much more square footage. Yeah. They had, like, two living rooms and... No, it was not. But we were compromising a lot. I think we were just yeah. like, anything. We did, This is what we want. But, but that was the first was, house we looked at. <laughs> it was like the, the same thing. week we started. You know what it was? We had saw so many pieces of crap that that one was such a diamond. Yeah, we had to let, let our realtor know, like, look, this is the caliber you need to bring us. Because yeah, if, if I have to look at you sideways, the next time we pull up in front of something crappy, it's going <laughs> to end gonna be badly. A problem. It's gonna there be was a one problem. house where I was like, why are we even going in? He was like, what did you, what do you think? And I wanted to be like, <laughs> what did you think? Yeah. The dude was like, it was a Los Cabos mix with uh, uh, Big, Big Bear. Bear. So for those of y'all who don't know what those two places are, Big Bear is like a cabin. Like that's where people stay in cabins. And yeah, then like Los Cabos cabin, is like Mexico. Yeah. It was. It literally had a combination of both in the same areas. But like the, <laughs> the freaking front yard was straight up out of Elm. Uh, what is that? Nightmare on Elm Elm yeah. Street. That's what yeah. that was. I was like, who would want to live here? Like, what? I wanted to be like, so what do you think of us? What do you think of us? Yeah. If you thought we were going to live here. Do you think that's what our house currently looks like? And this is an upgrade? That's what I should have said. I'm going to slap you. Slap the taste out of your mouth. Anyway. <clears throat> so, compromising. What is the thing? Okay. So, if you had one thing that you are not willing to compromise on past, you know, square footage and um and of course safety what is one thing that you are not willing to compromise on when looking at a house i don't know they all take precedent in their own way i'm mm -hmm. starting to do that whole i have to be able to pull up into the driveway i mm -hmm. think that's the other like we i know we looked at a few we, we were ready to put in bids on a few because mm -hmm. they were actually nice areas nice houses but i'm like i don't know if i could ever get past that yeah yeah and be there because we're trying to find places that we feel at least we can do 10 years in. I yeah. mean, granted, if all of a sudden I have a downpour of money and we ball it, I'll leave one of these houses in a year and be like, we're upgrading immediately. But um, we're, we're trying to be reasonable and say, can we be here for 10 years? Um, so for you, it's the, you think it's the I think driveway? It's, you're starting to get, get the driveway thing. Mm-hmm. I outside of the other stuff that we already know, like it has to have like yeah, 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 the bathroom. Down, yeah. Right. We're not gonna be stuck in bathroom, one bathroom. Again. Less than three bedrooms. Yeah, no, 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 that's not gonna happen. I um I have two that are neck and neck. No, it can't be two. You gotta pick one. Because I, I pick one, you gotta pick one. Oh my goodness. Can I say what the two are and then then pick one? Can I do that? Real no. Oh, you such a jerk. Yeah, that's how I feel when you ask me these questions. Mmm. Go. That's what happens when you know what we talking about. Now it's got to be, it's got to look new. 
the house has got to look new. I want new stuff. We moved into a house where nothing was new. We purposely f looked for a house that was a project house. Like, yes, yes. It's in a nice area, but it needs some work. So so that we it would be in our price yeah. range. Because we and were I, just like... Yeah, now to the point, I like I ain't fixing nothing else. I want everything to be new. I want my recessed lighting. I want my granite or I'll take quartz countertop. I want a beautiful backsplash, beautiful appliances. I want it to look... New windows and everything. Yes, brand new. Just smell the newness. Smell the paint. Um, I you see where I got. All, I always have to correct you on that because you walk in and it be yeah, it does look new, but it ain't because it's like a fresh coat of paint on everything. <laughs> I'm like, well, what is all this paint covering? Look, but I appreciate that because we had to paint everything in here because we were looking at old lime green yeah, and yellow. That's true. So I appreciate some new paint. I don't. I don't <laughs> want no new paint because I'm like, what is it covering? Uh, that, that's a tip I want y'all to take with you anytime you're looking at something. First thing you walk, look at when you walk up to a house that you think about buying, look at the roof. Because that's going to be one of the most expensive things you have to do if you have to do it. The roof, see, it's the shape of the shingles. When you walk in, look at the ceiling for any patchwork that's been painted over. Because they're covering leaks. True. They, they are. And then look at the floor for any leak water damage. But, yeah, when I walk into a house and it's fresh paint, everything's newly painted, everything's white and clean looking, I'm like, no. Uh-uh. If it looks nice... Now, I want it to look nice, by all means, but if it looks nice, but the paints look like, okay, this paint's been up for a little while, but this, yeah, this is not, but you then know, that's a house I know I can Sometimes trust. people have kids that have, or, you know, we no, don't have true. to do some, you, but they, any, people but see some no, new paint in here when they walk Yeah, they're going to see some new paint, but like the, uh, Kelvin, uh -huh. all of that fresh paint, yeah. I couldn't get past it. I'm like, no, this is way too much new paint. There was one house we went to that was, okay, way too small. But that kitchen, it had them project cabinets. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Oh, uh, yeah. The it had Section like, 8. It had hug. the, uh, don't buy on here. No, there's very few people know what you're talking about. They had like the cheap wood, but it, the the design on the front was like paper. It like was peeling off. Laminate. It was, I'm telling you, it was college. That's Kelvin. Apartment. Yeah, that's yeah. the one I'm talking about. College apartment. Uh, oh, cabinets. I was like, this makes me think of roaches. This makes me think of roaches, and that's not the life. I'm too old for that. Too old. So let us know in the comments below if you are looking for a home, if you bought a home, or if one day you plan on buying a home, what do you think are your deal breakers? Like what is your what is your thing of I can't the house has to I mean obviously there are some basic things I feel like most people are on, especially in America. There's some basic things that we all probably want, but what's that one like? Mm mm mm. I got to have this. All right, we're going to keep you all kind of abreast of this um, situation that um, we're going through. I haven't been taking y'all on any, I'm, well, I won't be taking y'all on any tours of the houses we're looking at. But once we actually, you know, buy a house, we'll give you a tour with nothing in it. And then we'll let you know, like, the stuff that we're putting in it and everything like that. But um, we'll try to keep you all in the loop. And uh, like Marcus said, he will update you all on his own personal stuff because he's had he has other stuff that he's doing um here soon hopefully in a podcast and in a tank talks so guys thank you all so much if you got any other topic suggestions leave them in the comments below use the hashtag itgt itgtcaa if you want to communicate with us on a podcast topic or just a question in general that we can answer on the podcast so that we can spot it real quick we will see you guys next wednesday we are going to do what we got to do to make sure that happens. Is that correct? Yeah. We're going to make, make you sure that your promise. stuff is in line. See. Let me see. Now, power's out of the way. Is so you this don't want to cause a fight? Is what I, I told no you fight. why. I Trust told me, you ain't going to be no fight. I told you why we watched Power first because the babies were crying and there was okay. no point to do but a podcast. Power can always with wait. But what we going to do? But it's been, do? it's not happened but during what the what week, we though. Going to do? Where it's like, all right, we got to do this podcast. You won't watch power. That's not what has happened. All right. You won't sit there and lie and put it on me and not that you be tired. I ain't saying it ain't me too. I know I'd be tired. Not what, that's not what you're trying to do right now. No, no, but it's been a couple me. times where it'd be. I'm not saying I have never been the cause. Okay, that's but what, don't you, try that's to what put, you just made it sound like. No, you made it sound like I'm always the All cause. Right. I ain't saying you always power. Power. We can watch power. We have time. I just don't feel like doing it. I'll be tired. Why don't you talk about yourself then? I just did. And you got to watch your shows. Then start with you first. I and did. And then you can nah, come over here. Yeah, nah. Start with you and then I'm already you can come over, over there. Here. And we'll take yourself back to where nah, you need to be. No. Nah. I'm Do right this. where I'm at. Do this. I'm right where I'm at. Yeah. And you need to yeah, stay yeah, over yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't sound like that. Do to me. Well, you need to get your ears checked.
along with some other things. My mouth looks great. Thank uh -huh. you. I think this is called Volcanic. This, yeah. this lip color okay. is called Volcanic on the podcast. Y'all can see that. Uh, anyways, we'll see y'all next Wednesday. Yeah, hopefully. If this man makes it. As long as she can watch Power first. Look. Uh, he uh, Ghost <laughs> is cute. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. He is cute. All four feet of him. <laughs> you and him have a good time. How y'all's date? <laughs> That's what you went to. Uh -huh. <laughs> He's so He's pretty. He's real cute. He's he so is pretty. cute. He's a nice looking man. He got a <laughs> nice body. Good goatee. <laughs> I'm sure his neck, you know you like necks. He probably got a real nice neck. If you kneel down and look at it. <laughs> Please follow. Like. You know, subscribe and share our podcast. I'm not the jealous one, y'all. <laughs> they know what's up with over here. Look, hey, I don't know why. Damn, dang. You always, he likes to look try to her. pop off. He likes to her. try to pop off. Okay. They can look at me. They see me. Uh -huh. They see me looking. All right, y'all have a good one. Thank y'all for tuning in. See y'all next week. Like we said, fingers crossed. Uh, yeah, it's been good. We back at it, hopefully. Mm. All right, guys. Love you. Peace. I swear. I swear. I swear.